So I've got this old Del Vostro that I got for 20 bucks on Gumtree a while ago that I plan to put some new parts in and just fix up a little bit as a basic office PC a while ago. But I just didn't have a reason to, no one needed it. Well, I now do. I've got a friend who needs it for a unit of theirs and I'm going to be fixing this up to build a really cheap office PC which basically just needs to run Excel. No, it's a Del Vostro 260S, I think. As far as I'm aware, 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM, a i3 of second generation, dual core, 3.30 gigahertz. Let's unscrew the back and get her open. They just needed a base, a very basic office PC in which I had this lying around, which, which I plan to work on anyway. So, here we are. I'll also be running you through the budget as I go through it. Here we are. Got the PC itself. It all looks like it's in pretty good condition overall. The very first thing we're doing is taking out this low profile bracket. First thing we're going to be doing is chucking in this radi old Radeon low profile graphics card, which I got off of who is buying this PC for 10 bucks. So I'll put the model up on screen because I don't remember off the top of my head. But I figured there's no harm. There's no harm chucking it in there, even though it does have integrated graphics. It doesn't need it, but it doesn't hurt that it's in there. It doesn't want to go in cleanly, but I don't think it's too bad. GPU is in. Wasn't exactly my cleanest job, but it's in. Originally I had an additional stick of memory to put in, but it looks like it's already in dual channel. And I was hoping for single channel, because I've only got another four stick memory um, gig. So we're sticking with four gigs of memory then. The hard drive was taken out a fair while ago already. So we do have to put a new one of those in. Except we won't be using a hard drive. We'll be putting a new, in a new SSD just to make everything go a little bit faster. But this case is old and a pre-built. So it's only got like a hard drive carrier. And with, for that, we've got an SSD mounting bracket. I got the bracket for five bucks. So that's 35. The SSD I was just given by the person that's using this. The reason I bought the graphics card is I actually bought the graphics card before they actually needed it. But a 128GB SSD is probably around probably around 20 bucks. Just screwing the SSD onto the mounting bracket. At least it still has a SATA cable in there, so I won't need to put in a new SATA cable. And this bad boy just slots back into here. Let's quickly plug her in. There we go. While we're here, we'll re-thermal paste the CPU. We may as well. I doubt this, just looking at the PC, I doubt much has been done with it in Yonks. I love the good old, in, like, mock Intel heat sinks. Well, like, it's the exact same thing, with the small base of aluminium at the bottom, and a small fan on top. But at the same time, it's not quite the stock heat sink. Because it looks like pretty much the exact same actual heat sink. And then it's just not. It looks like the same round shape and everything, just a square fan on top. And then it's just barely enough to not be a stock heat sink. Oh, this is the crustiest old thermal paste. Oh my god. Yeah, it's an i3-2120, second gen i3. Which for Excel and stuff is enough. Not amazing, but it's plenty. Let's just quickly chuck some new stuff on. That's plenty. And then we screw this core back on. I actually think that's already all of the improvements we're making. That's it. As we just needed a basic office PC for Excel. Cool is back on. This disk drive is pot riveted on. Yes, it is. Okay. Because this leads us into our next fun little point. I want to start something new. As most people would know, this is my logo. This is also a sticker. When I start building PCs, I'm going to start hiding them in there. And so I think I'm going to hide one just underneath on the disk drive there. Okay, it wasn't exactly a perfect stick, but I've now got my Geeky Tech sticker stuck under that DVD drive in there. Wonderful. So that's now hidden in there. That's probably never gonna be seen because that's pot riveted in. The fan is fine as is. 
We'll take a quick sip of our boba tea. I'm a Thai enjoyer myself. And as, as far as I'm aware, that's mostly actually everything done. So let's go, before we close it up, let's go plug it in and test it out, make sure everything's working. Okay, so I've got everything set up and plugged in. Full transparency. I don't have it connected to the graphics card because my normal graphics card that I would have display or display port or DVI, which is what those two have, is not working. And so I only had a spare VGA monitor around. But we can still go through and check out the drivers and stuff. Let's hit the power button. It spins to life. Do we get an output? There's also no lights going on. What's happening here? And we've got an error light, okay. Let's figure out what this error light means. So the LED's still on, but the power supply's unplugged and the battery's out. We've been up the when it's off now, but it was on for a good few minutes. So I tried to reset the CMOS. Now we need a postcode, but I looked into the owner's manual and it looks like that it is a CMOS battery issue. So we're gonna have to switch that out, I assume. Just unplugged the VGA, but everything about it looks like it's posting fine, apart from the little orange LED, which is odd. So I'm thinking it might be the fact that the graphics card's plugged in. Okay, I was gonna be fuming if it was the cable. It's the graphics card. Whenever the graphics card plug is plugged in, it's disabling the onboard graphics. Let's see if we can fix that on the BIOS. So as far as I'm aware, it's just spitting out graphics cards. I don't have another low profile to test it with, but I'm installing Windows on it now. After some Googling, it just seems like the Radeon series doesn't support this older PC, and this old BIOS type. It'll still run Windows 10 and everything it needs to, it just means the Radeon won't be able to go in it like planned. Whoopsies. There's no harm. There's no harm chucking it in there, even though it does have integrated graphics. Okay, so sadly, I haven't, I'm not able to set up Windows yet, because I'm not the one using the PC, and the person wants to set it up themselves. But with that, for what was it, $45 in the end? We've got a pretty powerful little office PC. It's, look, okay, I, don't, I shouldn't say pretty powerful. DDR3, 4 gigs, two cores, it's a pretty basic office PC. But if it's a situation like them where they just needed Excel, it's gonna get the job done easily. And it means that you don't have to go out and buy some other fancy smancy machine that's not gonna be utilized. And, it keep, and I got this second hand and it was gonna go in the bin. It just saves things from e-waste as well. And we also could have used the Radeon. Kept that in the video because I like to keep my blunders in. But I hope you enjoyed the video of showing off just upgrading this to a good little PC with an SSD, re-thermal pasting. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like and subscribe as I'm a small and newest channel, so it would help out a ton. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.